Okay, hi there YouTube, and welcome to my lesson on covalent bonding. Covalent bonding is the joining of two elements which are both non-metals. Um, they do this by sharing electrons in order to get full shells. Now, if you're unsure what a shell is, it is the different layer of an element layer of electrons. If you're unsure about electrons and protons and neutrons and just generally the structure of an atom, I recommend watching my other video where I go into detail. I go, I go, I explain, I dedicate a whole video into the structure of an atom. So anyway, here I'm going to draw oxygen and you can see I am drawing the individual the individual electrons in almost a layer fashion. So in the first layer we have two electrons and in the sixth and sorry in the second layer we have six electrons. This totals the eight electrons which are present for the standard oxygen. So we have this oxygen about and its desire, so sort of natural desire, is to get a full shell. And a full shell will consist of the following thing. In the first shell, in, I'm sorry, in the first, yeah, in the first shell, its maximum it can hold is eight, sorry, is two. So when it gains two electrons, it has a full shell. In the second layer, it is eight electrons. In the third layer, it is also eight. And these fill up in order. Once you go past four, they do not fill up in order, but that, that's a lot more complicated. So I may produce some more advanced videos on that. But anyway, back to oxygen. On the first layer, it has two, two elements, two um, electrons, and that fits. It's got a full shell. There's, it's happy with the first shell. However, on the second shell, it only has six electrons whereas it could hold a possible possible eight electrons. So oxygen's a bit unhappy, it's it's wanting to have a full shell. So how could it how could it gain a full shell? Well it could do it by either two ways. It could either lose the six electrons. So it just has two two electrons. It's lost the shell but however the number of shells doesn't really matter. It's just whether they're full or not. Or it could gain two shells. Sorry, it could gain two elect two electrons. So it has a so its second shell has eight electrons on. So it's full. So what, what do you think the easiest way of doing this is? Either by losing six electrons or gaining two electrons. Well, the easiest way is to gain two electrons. Um, and because it's and it could do this by reacting with a metal in which case it would be physically gaining an electron. However, we are talking about covalent bonding here, and covalent bonding, it gains an, elect an extra electron by sharing an electron. So, take hydrogen. Hydrogen has one electron on the outer shell. Now, I'll do this in a, I'll, I'll draw this electron as a cross, just to identify it differently. So there's one electron on the outer shell. It does not have a full shell, because a full shell would mean it should only have two electrons. So, here is oxygen here, looking to gain an electron, and hydrogen has an electron here. It's also looking to gain an electron. So how could they both, how could they both um, be happy? Oh, they could, uh, share an electron. So here we have hydrogen with two electrons and here's oxygen with seven electrons and well oxygen isn't fully happy here it needs one more electron so it does this by reacting with another hydrogen and um, you might be guessing but what element is this? This is H2O so you can see here hydrogen has um, got two electrons, it shared its electron with oxygen 
So it's like oxygen gaining another electron, but actually it hasn't really. And here's oxygen gaining another electron, well, sharing an ele electron. So its total electron is actually 8. Um, so essentially you can essentially you can form lots of different there's lots of different ways of doing this. There doesn't just have to be one sharing between them. There can be it can be sharing two. And this could be shown by ox oxygen again sharing with itself. You can see it's okay. Alright, I'll just move for the paper a bit to make it a bit more obvious. So here we have the first shell, the second shell. Uh, I should have drawn it the other way around, but does it matter? So you can have double bonds. Sorry about that. Sorry about my phone going off. Um, so you can have double bonds. So you can have. I just draw it out to show how. So you could have double bond here. So you can see on the outer shell this oxygen here on the right has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And as okay, sorry about that, my camera suddenly stops stopped recording. But anyway, as I had left off, we can see the oxygen here has eight electrons, even though it has not transferred any. It's just sharing them. But anyway, this is the reason why elements such as hydrogen and oxygen when we normally see them are written as O2 and H2 because um, hydrogen has one electron on the outer shell and the second hydrogen has an e another element on the outer shell and they they share them it's it's hard for them not to because they're always looking to get a full a full electron shell I mean, once they've got that full electron shell they're not very reactive at all because you'll you have to actually break this bond for them to be reactive again. Um, so I hope you learnt something about uh, covalent bonding. I hope I uh, gave. I hope I taught the taught covalent bonding to you well enough so that you understood. Um, if I did, I would really appreciate it if you subscribed and like the video and maybe check out some of my, some of my more videos but uh, if, if you did not learn anything from this video or found I did not explain this enough please uh, leave a comment on this video and it would really tell me how I could improve because I really want to make this uh, channel work and it would be so much easier with your user input but anyway thank you for watching and goodbye